Hey guys, welcome back. Air Duster. We are going to actually do a little bit of an Air Duster shootout. Basically what I want to see, and I want to know the outcome of this guy versus my other two. Okay, so this one was sent out to me as a, hey, do you want to try this out? And and the video is still my video, so there is nobody paying me to do this or test it out. One thing I will say, this is heavier than the other units that I have, at least from this. I don't know if that's a power adapter that makes that weight or not, but we'll find out. So we're going to unbox this guy, take a look at it, and then we're going to, we're going to start playing with some toys. And I have picked up some toys over the last little while, haven't played around with them yet, but this is an airflow meter with actual temperature and humidity built in. Hmm, pretty cool. Not a very expensive one, but enough of one to do the job. I believe I can still hook this up to the PC, it looks like there's software right here. And we can get actual readouts on the fly, and here is the cable and the uh, CD. Okay guys, and to do the test on this in particular test, because I, I can't say it's going to be 100% accurate, whereas, you know, this guy could say that he puts out a thousand PSI and this says it's only 500. That might be a stretch at that point. But if it's like around 800, 900 in those categories and somebody claims 1000 or 15 or whatever, if it's in the ballpark, then I'll call it uh, you know, room for error based on this. But what based on this is going to be, all air dusters are going to be tested through it. Therefore, we'll know what is better. Do you have to spend much more money? Or are the everyday everybody's out there just as good? Okay, we're going to unbox it. I'm going to get to see it for the first time. Now, these are pretty simple. I mean, there's not you know, crazy. Oh, that's interesting. Came with a, a toothbrush. No, I'm guessing it's a brush to clean vents and stuff or to get in when you're doing stuff. Maybe that's kind of cool. All right. Here's another, uh, almost feels like a vacuum piece, but I think this is just a blower. Ooh, that's kind of nice. See, this makes things a little more premium to me. So now we have a carrying bag for everything. That's pretty nice because none of my other ones, I can tell you have that. And then here's your like keyboard or whatever uh, blower, which is really good because you really want to get in and loosen that dirt up. And if you can't, that's what the toothbrush is for. Okay, we have a uh, USB-C. All right, there's a switch. So one of the ones I'm testing right now we're charging has a like AC jack style. The other one is a uh, USB mini and this one is USB-C. So definitely dealing probably with the newest of the units. Ooh, a brush. See, this is great for, these are anti-static I believe too. So that's kind of nice. Oh, oh, nice. So we can pinpoint right down with the air, which is actually really cool. And of course, I think these can all kind of, I don't know if this one here and this one here go together, but anyway, they will we'll figure all that out. Take this bad boy out. Oh, there's something else still in there. Something more else still in there. So we have the manual, but before we go to the manual, we have this little brush that is actually just a brush, which is actually kind of cool. So these guys went a little bit above and beyond, okay? Because all my other units, are just blow systems and anything with the brush is still a tubular blow system. So I gotta give some credit here where credit's due. They gave me a couple, br three different brushes actually to do this. Oh my God, this thing actually has weight. None of the ones that I've played around with actually feel like this. I may wanna put them all on a scale. So there we have it. We have the, wow. Nice build. Charging indicator. So you got your charging indicator right here. Of course, here's your trigger. 
which they've uh, conveniently taped up to make sure that things don't go crazy. Oh yeah, it's got a cap on it so you couldn't press it, which is great for shipping. Great for shipping. So immediately little things like that actually make me a little happy because it means they put a little bit more care into here. Press power button three seconds to turn on the product for more detail. Please refer to. Now, I think if you press and hold, it just goes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say it's the winner, but it's got three different air blow modes. And I haven't even charged it yet. That was insane. I don't care. That was insane. So, uh, that it's heavier. It's definitely got some beefiness to it. And did you guys notice that it actually has an LED light? I don't think any of my other ones have that either. So we're going to charge this up, make sure it's a fair fight because the other two are on charge and one of them was never used before. And one is my daily driver. So I'm expecting <laughs> from what I've just seen my daily driver to possibly be punished. So that's, that's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, things that you would do, you would just add on here, right? So there's your uh, piece there. If you want it to be like really, really narrow, and trust me, that will make a lot more pressure. Uh, we can also try that on the air unit. Um, and then there's your trusty side angle one where you go crazy. Anyway, guys, I can babble on and talk forever. Let's get this charged and we'll get right back to this unit. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do here now is this is the vacuum slash blower. I think this guy has a disadvantage right off the bat, but is the next heaviest unit to this one. This is my daily driver and this weighs a twice the weight of this one. That tells me a lot about coil and everything that's in this guy here. So. What we're going to do is we're going to put everything through the airflow meter. I'm going to record, I have software to record this information. And again, this one has a disadvantage. I already kind of know that, but I want to see in the shootout, does a vacuum slash blower even work well? So we're going to find that out real quick. And I got this set to CFM. So we'll be recording a CFM on it. Okay, so we're going to start way back here and shoot at the uh, device. Huh, <laughs> we're doing better than I thought it did. Okay, now it's gonna go up to this section after I save. Okay, and now we're going to do I've called this VD, so I'm going to have to like tip it a bit just to be 100% fair here because they all have different angles. So here we go. We're going to, that's VD far vacuum duster. <laughs> that's how I've named this. This one's brand new too. I think I've seen the max for that one. Which is a lot better than you think. Okay, so now we're taking Old Faithful. Fire is a little high. I may have to like tip it a bit. Okay, and I've named this one Old Far. And like I said, this one's been with me for at least over a year. Ready? Oh. Okay, 
this guy's turn. Now, this has three stages. The other ones don't. So one. Okay, that might be like blowing it all the way without even moving closer. Okay, we'll try this at three speeds again. And I, uh, it's, this is, this thing's nuts. So I'm just gonna move that back a bit to just give it that ledge. And, oop, gotta hold it for a bit. Speed one. Oop. I'm gonna hold this because I have a feeling. <laughs> 